Hey there, this is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, this is part four of my series on introduction to SuperTab. I've done three other videos on it, introducing how to set it up on your computer. And in this particular episode, I'm gonna go into some of the more hidden features of, and more advanced features of SuperTab. So stick around and check it out. Okay, so here we are back in the fourth uh, installment of the series about uh, SuperTab. And in the previous series, I've talked about how to, um, you know, kind of add rows or what I call docs to your SuperTab. So you can kind of go up here and you can add docs here and you can add a type of items that you want to have in that row. And then we also talked about customizing um, those items so that you can, if you click over here, um, say you go here, click on the little, um, the little gear button here, you can item, you can also add additional items or you can click on the clear, the, the, uh, gear button for some of the applications. Um, let's see. Oh, here, click on here and takes a little bit of time and it gives you some other options as well, particularly for auto hi hiding or auto quitting an application after it's been in the background for a certain amount of time. So if you want to watch, um, you know, part three to go in details about that. So this is a little bit more advanced uh, features inside of SuperTab. And some of those features are most useful for what's called the custom items. And so let me give you an example here. <clears throat> of one this is called uh this is a safari private window and uh, i created this and i'm going to show you how i created it so i'm going to do the configure uh private um well let me let me do this let me go so in order to add an item to a custom items you go at you know click on the add items uh, button here and then we're going to um, do a what's called a um auto uh, auto type Okay, and in this auto type, we're going to do private uh, Safari window. Okay, and you're going to, if you want to choose the application that is going to work in, you don't have to choose one. If it's one, if it's, if it's going to be a menu item that you're triggering that works in all applications, you can do that. But this one is only for, um, you know, for Safari. So you're going to um, go in here and let's click on Safari here. Okay. I'm going to add that one. Okay. So this particular auto type will only work in Safari. And then you're going to click on this plus button and um, you're going to click uh, select a menu item. Okay, now in order for this to work, you need to type in the path of that menu item. Okay, so I took a little screenshot to show you. Here's how the menu item looks for in Safari File, New, Private Window, um, and then you know here's just the the uh, shortcut. But we're not putting in the shortcut. We're putting in the path. So what you would do is that you would type Safari. Right? And then you put a you put a, 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 a colon. See, it tells you right there, a colon, right? And then you're going to, so you're going to go file, right? And then another colon, new private window right there, all right? And so that's how you do that. So notice how it follows the path. So this is the application. Here's the top menu item, file. And here's the item inside that uh, top menu item, new private window. So that's how you do that. All right. And then you're going to click um, OK. I want to do that in a minute, but I want to show you some other stuff real quick. So basically what this what this does is that you can create this kind of, you know, trigger for, you know, to to um, to just click it from within any application. And it'll take you to whatever menu path that you put in there for a particular application. So we can add this here. And it comes over here and just add it. Okay, I'm just gonna. You can also you can also move items in the customs. So I'm gonna move it over here. And then if I were to click this, it would open up a new private window in Safari. Now, so what I like about this is that again, whatever application I'm in, all I got to do is hit the go you know, trigger uh, super tab 
by going to the to my hot corner there and then just clicking on here and it opens up that private window and you can do that for a lot of other things um i have one where um basically let's look at the configuration on this one okay so basically i have all this set up so that it emails a particular person that uh, my office email sometimes and I don't use it all the time, but you know, it's convenient to have it there, right? And I just basically, these are just, you know, menu items set up in order to, um, you know, as, as, as if I were doing it manually, they're set up to do that, to create a new email message. And I believe it should, it should, um, it should insert her name, but maybe not. Let me see. I don't think, yeah, it does. So right here it says, you know, um, and I can't click on this, but but um, in, in this says type text, it will type her name or type her email address um, in in the um, the the two um, you know column or the two you know in um, where you know where you enter the the email address there, right? So you know it will it will insert that in there, and then it will tab for it. Um, and then it would type some other stuff and tab for it, that kind of thing. So let me just see if I can see if I can uh, see how it will look. Cause I haven't done that in a while. There you go. So you see, and so it tabs it for it. And it, I think I stopped it, but it would usually. I think it should have tapped all the way over to 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 the uh, the body of the message, right? So basically, that's how that's how that works. So anyway. Um, you can kind of create these little, you know, kind of custom um, auto types um, if you want. And you say, all you do is come over here and add an item. Some other ones are that you can add are uh, web pages. Okay, so you can put a website URL in here and you know give it the give it the um, the, the, the name, and then you can either have it open a new tab or open up in a new window. Right now, an easier way to do it is say if you're already on a, um, a, a website and you want to just kind of click here and you drag it down to your hot corner and then you just drag it in there just like that all right and then that way the bookmark is already added and then you can configure it right here by changing the name okay and then deciding if you want to add it into a new tab or a new window really convenient because that way you can get quickly to a particular item really quickly so i, I like i really like that for that particular purpose um now let's see let's go back again and see what some other ones here we have um the the screenshot i really like the screenshot but for me it's not working on my Mac, um, you should be able to click, you know, a full screenshot or window screenshot, and it should be able to open as if like you're, you know, using the um, a keyboard shortcut for taking screenshots. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. And uh, so you can see the configuration here. You can try it out on your uh, Mac to see if it's working. I, it just hasn't been working on mine, and I tried it on my MacBook Air as well. But anyway, you can you can choose what type of screenshot you wanna you want to to uh, to to click and take or set up, right? So you say I want one of the whole entire screen, and you can save that um, and be able to click it, and it should be able to take an entire screenshot. And you can figure out where you want to save it to the desktop, place it in a new email, uh, what application to open up it in. So you have a lot of different options there. So I'm pretty sure that uh, if if this is a problem for everyone that the developer will be um, addressing that. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Um, another one is called Meta Folders, and this is a useful one, and I'm gonna bring it down to here, okay? And Meta Folders is that you can drag items inside this folder. So if you got two, like right now, I got too many items in this row because it's getting a lot smaller, right? So I can just drag over here and drop it into this meta folder like that, okay? And I, again, I can configure, or I can, well, let me see, I thought I could configure this, but you can set a hotkey to kind of, you know, um, what does the hotkey do for that? I'm not sure. Um, and maybe it, it, it opens the opens the folder up. Let me see if I can quickly 
see if I can do that real quickly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but we will see. Nope, that's not going. I got to find. I got to find a hotkey I haven't been using, and I, I have quite a, quite a few. There you go. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I use that. Okay, so basically, there you go. So it will open up a little con a contextual menu of the items that are inside that uh, meta folder right there. So um, you can use a hotkey to do that. So that's pretty cool. So, and we just click it here and then, you know, those are the three items that I put in there. So that's really, that's pretty cool actually. I uh, haven't used that, but anyway, so that's one thing you can sign a hotkey. Um, you can remove it from the tab if you no, no longer want to use it. You can also, uh, this is for almost a lot of the items in here. You can add, you can add a, kind of a, you know, a color to it. If you want to make it, you know, green or what have you, you can um, decorate it with the icon. They might, these not the most, you know, attractive little icons, but, uh, you know, it's something that helps to kind of distinguish um, some uh, one icon from the next. So you can add it like that. Okay. And let's go back again. And let's see. So um, again, you can drag. You can drag any any item that you want um, inside this metaphor, just like that, and that gives you a little more space there. And these are probably for things that you don't use all the time. So you you know, and you can also you should be able to give this um, a name. Oh yeah, here you go. Change the name of the metaphor, right? So let's put demo. All right, and so demo here, and then you got to change there. So you got that. All right, and so then you can add mother, you can add other items too. You can kind of click on here, and it'll open up your dialog box and you know finder and open up your finder, and you can find out to, you know add items that way, or you can drag like like I like the same way you drag um, a bookmark into it. You can also drag from your finder. Um, and just add an item there. So you can add files, you can add other folders, that kind of thing. So it's, it's you know, it's pretty, it's, you know, there's pretty no, no, no limit really to it. Um, and then you, if you have an uh, um, auto, auto type set up, you can, you know, you can set up one here and add that as well to trigger and put it in that, to put it in the, um, in the folder. So these meta folders are really convenient, particularly once you start really started using you know, kind of um, using uh, the the, the um, uh, super tab a lot. You probably want to start using this. I have one for. I think these are my screenshot applications. Yeah, so all my screenshot applications, I put them in here. Even though I kind of move some out of there, or I also have them in this row here, just to get just to get to them faster. Okay, so you know, you experiment with it and see how you how you um, you know what you need and things like that. So so you can always get rid of it, and you can also um, you notice that. Here are the items here. You can also uh, come over here and you can configure uh, the items in here itself. Okay. So again, you can do configuration there. Um, and you can also come in and let's see, you can move them. You can move the items around. Okay. Um, in, inside the folder or you can remove them from the folder. I mean, you can put, you know, the position that you want to have it in. You can do that. Um, Let's see if I wanted to uh, let's see position in meta folder uh, screenshot. So let's see what that does. Yeah, it just switches it around. So you can you can reposition that way. Um, you can move this item to the um, to the row itself, right? So it just did that and created more clutter inside there. But okay, we take that out of there. So you can remove it there. Okay, and so. You have a lot of options there for meta folders. Um, the other one is, and we talked about this the other time, is the clipboard um, thing here. And basically, the clipboard is again something where you can it, it, like this. The last item on the clipboard is, is there by default, right? But you can also go in here. I mean, you can go in here and you know, say I wanted to, you know. Uh, keep that and I can say super tab is the name okay and you probably do something you know much longer than this but um, you know keep the uh, copy the contents to the system clipboard um, so if I wanted to 
you know, so I say, okay, so if I wanted to, you know, if I'm working on a document and, and, and this is like a snippet of text, maybe it's a paragraph or whatever, I wouldn't do it just for a simple name. But if it's, if it's, a, if it's a collection of text or snippets of text, right, I can, this will copy, if I, if I click it, it will copy, copy it to the clipboard and then I can go and paste it wherever I want. All right, and so that's that's how that works here. And you also have the option to um, just paste it directly into the um, the application in which you're working in too. So paste content in the current app. So you can do it that way. So that's that's a real convenient thing for just again, if you copy something and you know you want to keep it and, and reuse it again and again, you can put it in your custom items. And actually, you could probably have a whole row of those kind of snippets. Um, that, that you want to have. And what's good about that too is you don't have to really remember an, an abbreviation for those snippets of text. You can just, you know, you just kind of open up your super tab and click on the items that, uh, the, the snippets of text that you normally use. Okay. And this last one is for um, display. So if you, if you set up your, if you set up your Mac for a certain dis display size or what have you, configuration, you can do that and you click on here and then you configure it. And basically what it did was it captured the, the current display and um, you can kind of go back and see, um, well, you open system, system displays and then you can, so basically what you want to do is you want to change the display the way you want to set up and then create you know, um, then capture that display, give it a name, you know, give it a name here, right? And then after you give it a name, so you say, you know, test here. And um, then when you click on it, it will change the display uh, on your Mac according to your settings that you set up or, one, or the ones you captured. Okay, so that's what that is. Remove that one. And let me see. Um, this right here is the one called the uh, system preferences. And I think I talked about this in another video, but you can add uh, system preferences items that you might use a lot. Say if you use Bluetooth a lot, you can add that here, right? And then when you click on the Bluetooth, it will open up right, uh, it will, it'll open up system preferences and go right to Bluetooth. So that's really cool. That's a really cool and good time saver there. Same thing with if you have um, saved uh, spot, spotlight searches, so you can, you know, do those. I have these here. I can add one here if I wanted to, right? Okay. Again, this is just really convenient so that if you just go trigger super tab, you can get to these items really quickly without having to open up another application or another window to find them. So that's what makes this useful, at least for me anyway. So I hope it is for you too. Um, and I think we're almost done. Yeah, that's it. And so you can also add um, applications. You can add uh, folders inside this. And so it's really, you know, you can also, you can add a, um, a separator too. So if you got a lot of stuff in here, they, he gives you these kind of like little um, ball separators or whatever. Um, so you can do that, little spears, whatever. So you can separate items out. I don't particularly use them. But if you want, you know, if you want to customize a way to kind of help you to get this stuff, that's cool too. So anyway, so there's a lot of good stuff in here. And I hope that this uh, series has been useful to you. And uh, definitely, if you have not yet uh, downloaded SuperTab, uh, definitely go there and make use of my uh, affiliate link because you can get the entire copy of uh, SuperTab for $8, which is just, you know, really, really modest fee there. So definitely do that. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I appreciate it and see you next time.